my god, see this goodness, yummy. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zoli Kwanti Deke. If today's the first day of this channel, I am so happy to have you on board. You are so welcome. 2,000 plus subscribers know you guys are doing the most. Thank you so much. So today, we're going to be cooking a goosey ijebu. Say a goosey ijebu. Yes. So in cooking our ijebu and goosey today, we need our ugu. Now, it's optional. You don't have to use ugu. We need our chombo and rodo. We need our alubosa. We need our a goosey. We need our a day we also going to need our bokoto bokoto we also need our aeron aeron we need our pala say pala uh -huh. we need our iru also we need our eja kika eja bori okay we also need Iyo. by now i'm sure you know Iyo. we also need a popupa which i'm sure you're very familiar with now we also need our dry fish our billion cube is a bear having all our ingredients now let's begin so we're going to add some salt to our fish with boiling hot water the reason is to clean the fish and if there's any bacteria i need to get it all clean now let's get to blending our pepper so that's our roto going in there then our Tata she now I've got some little dry pepper there. Um also alubosa goes in. The alubosa then we had some water. Now the water shouldn't be too much because we want just a rough blend. Okay. Now the ede can now go in. Then we add our iru. Now you don't have to blend the iru, you don't even have to blend the ed as well. It's your choice if you want to. But I love to blend it all in, okay, so I can get the best of the aroma all together. So, having done this, you can see how rough the pepper is. They'll so just set that aside while we clean our fish. So, we clean the fish, um, be very careful so it doesn't spike your finger, and you keep cleaning until you have a clean water. I think I, I have to wash this about three times before I could achieve a nice clean water which you, we're going to be seeing in the next few minutes so that's it now it's all finally so clean and the water is so clean not brownie anymore now we can just put that aside while we carry on with other things now we're going to get cooking I'm going to pour the palm oil in the pot then our pepper goes in just give give that a while to fry okay now why blending this pepper um i added some onion that was why i didn't fry onion before um before um pouring the pepper in so here i'm just pouring in the pala first i preboiled everything that i'm using here so the bokoto i preboiled pre everything just put them in early because you want them to be really soft while you're enjoying your egg then add some water so just leave it to boil and boil for a while while that is boiling um remember to stir it as well because you don't want it to get stuck to the bottom of the pot okay so um i'm going to have the fish there remember the fish that washed her clean <laughs> and then leave it to simmer i added the beef last um because um it was already soft and i don't want it to be extra too soft so after that add some billion cubes into that and also sorry i've got cold <laughs> and also add um some salt then give it a good stir um ensure that this does not stick to the bottom of the pot and if it happens i mean it's not the end of the world but you really do not want to stick to the bottom of the pot okay moving on to our goosey so it's time to blend our goosey we're going to give our goosey a good rinse okay and add it to the blender sliced about three onions into this remember i said earlier we're gonna add more onions yes so just blend that um to get from to get a really smooth consistency and um, once you've achieved that just set that aside um stir again the sauce okay so it does get stuck to the bottom of the pot then just 
at the uh, you see in gradually gradually okay with well, the secret about um ijabu equity is that you need to add good amount of water okay not too runny but um it it will require water compared to the other type of equity okay so we're just gonna leave that now to simmer now this stage this stage is optional if you want to add your ugu fine if you don't want to happy days but again i love to add my grains to my ecosy so just leave that to simmer for a while not overdo it because you don't want the um the um ugu to lose the green color so just it for a while leave it to simmer okay and here it is it's looking perfect so um i'm just gonna give a good stir because one once they get to get stuck to the bottom and this is our end product look it's so yummy and you can have your eggs with any form of swallow on this occasion i'm having it with pounded yam yo come and join me as you know we're going to be sending our order but together on the count of a new age oh yeah oh double <laughs>